What's up everybody, I'm Damon Hatfield here with Philip Mewson, our Nintendo editor, and we got some interesting Nintendo Switch news today. Yeah. Resident Evil 7 is coming to Switch this week in Japan as a streaming game. Yes, a yeah. cloud-based game. So Capcom announced very late last night um, that Resident Evil 7 cloud version is making its way over to Switch on May 24th in Japan. Right. Which, you know, it's it's very bittersweet because obviously the Resident Evil franchise is such a loved franchise. We got Resident Evil Revelations 1 and 2 on Switch uh, and there was a very high interest there. So it's no surprise that Capcom does want to bring over Resident Evil 7 on Switch. It's just kind of unfortunate that we're gonna have to essentially stream the game to our Switches. Yeah, well, first of all, this is only coming to Japan as of right now. It right. It not announced for any other territories. And the model is uh, you can play the first 15 minutes for free. After that, you pay about 20 bucks to play the full game with all the DLC for 180 days. Right. But you're just streaming it to your console. You're not downloading it. Uh, you're not actually purchasing the game, which means you have to be, uh, you're tied to a reliable internet service. Yes. And you can't take your Switch out and about with you, which is kind of the whole point of the Switch. Yeah, I mean, it's a portable console, and Capcom did make a note to say that you will still be able to play the game in handheld mode or docked, but you will need, as you said, a yeah. stable internet connection. So, Philip, what do you think about this? Obviously, you know, uh, on other consoles, on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, Resident Evil 7 isn't a portable game. Mm -hmm. uh, so, in that respect, it's the same on the Switch, but most, you know, the whole point of the Switch is that it's supposed to be a hybrid home and portable console. Right, yeah, I know. So it does definitely take away the ability to actually leave your home or leave a Wi-Fi connection to play the game, which is unfortunate, but I'm still happy to see Capcom trying to at least bring the game over to Switch and make Resident Evil hap uh, fans happy. Hmm. Now, the one thing I'm a little worried about is I don't want this to set a precedent for, or precedence for other uh, third-party developers to bring their games over to Switch that require to be streamed as yeah. well, like require a steady internet connection. I think that that would be very, very bad because it totally goes against the whole mantra of what the Switch is. But what if this is just simply the price you have to pay to get a big AAA game like Resident Evil 7 on Switch? Right. Like what if it's this way or nothing? Well, I disagree with that. I okay. don't think it's or nothing because okay. obviously we saw Bethesda bring uh, Doom over to Switch sure. as well as Skyrim, which is a little bit of an older game, but Doom Skyrim. is not. So, Wolfenstein 2. Yeah, Wolfenstein 2 is on its yeah. way. So we are seeing third-party publishers um, that are capable of actually bringing these massive, gigantic AAA third-party games over to Switch without requiring any sort of internet connection to play them. And there might be an additional download um, that players might have to do in order to actually play the game, mm. but it's not required for full play, whereas sure. Resident Evil 7 will, of course, be required to be connected to the internet. But there are some big games uh, that I, I don't think would be possible to run on Switch, like Monster Hunter World, right. for example. So maybe this is Capcom testing the waters. Maybe this, you know, in this format, Monster Hunter World cloud version mm -hmm. would be able to come to Switch. It would, but I doubt we'll see Monster Hunter World cloud really? version. Yeah, because we do have obviously a, mon a Monster Hunter game coming to the West on Switch finally. That's right, yeah. yeah, so I don't think Capcom will bring World over as well alongside that, but it does allow, uh, let's say, a publisher or developer like Rockstar to maybe mm. think better about bringing something like Red Dead Redemption 2 over to Switch. Sure. Yeah. So we could see bigger, more uh, you know, graphically intensive games coming to Switch just only in this manner. Now, is that a great thing? Uh, I guess we'll have to find out and see how this yeah. cloud thing really does work out. Well, I'm interested to know what our viewers think. Uh, definitely let us know what you think about streaming games to your Nintendo Switch, uh, sacrificing its portability in order to play big games. If, would you be able to, if you could stream Assassin's Creed Origins, if you could stream Red Dead Redemption 2, if you could play Destiny 2 on your Nintendo Switch, would it be worth it to sacrifice the portability? Let us know in the comments, and for everything Nintendo Switch, stay tuned to IGN.